What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna show you what I did to make this clamp storage for my workbench. And I know what you're thinking. Holy clamp. Get it? Cause like, no, it's not funny. Quarantine's been a long time, guys. I haven't seen people, this is crazy. Anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay these out, obviously, at, from our tallest clamps, which is 36 inches, down to 24, down to 12, down to all these random ones here. And the first thing we are gonna do is take our two by four and measure this inside dimension and get that bar secured for those 36 inch clamps. All right, so the two by fours are now cut to length. The next thing we're gonna do is figure out where these two by fours need to go in relation to our table here in order to figure out what height these clamps can rest at without being above the tabletop surface. So we're gonna play around with that, figure out where that is, and then get these two by four secured for the 36 inch clamps. So now that we got our horizontal brace in there, the next thing we need to do is cut the pieces that these two clamps will actually rest on. Uh, they measure as is about three inches wide when you have both of them together. So I'm gonna cut these at about three and a half inches just to make sure I'll be able to easily rest both uh, clamps on the one rack. I scooted this over, this block over one hole because it was a little too snug. But after that little adjustment, you can see that the end result is pretty awesome. If you ask me, it's resting on there comfortably, easily. If I've ever worried about it falling off or whatever, I can just squeeze the clamp together to hold it on there snugger. But I like it because I can grab and go without having to fuss about it a lot. So in terms of functionality, I'm happy. And also if I wanted to, oh, let's, there we go. If I wanted to, I could have obviously turned this piece upside down so the pocket holes would be hidden. Um, that's an option for you as well. However, because this is just staying in my shop, I'm not too concerned about it, but for presentability factor, you could always do that. So boom, you can do it better than me. You heard it here first. Anyways, we got these clips in. Let's go on to the second shelf. one shelf two or rack one and two whatever whatever your preferred lingo is are done we are now on to rack slash shelf trace All right, so boom, that is our first set of all of our main uh, pistol grip clamps all in there. I'm gonna put in these uh, F clamps. I'm gonna put my longer set, which is right back there. I think I'm gonna fill that in this gap right here. And then I'm gonna figure out to do with the little spring clamp. So pause A in my thinking, but you will see the end result soon. So 
go. All we did was again, pocket hole one screw into there. And then I know for these Bessies, I actually have these ones closed and clamped because they won't dangle as much as if I were to leave them fully extended. And I have them on there just enough where they take shape, but they can still slide on and off. Super easy, but that is one pair of Bessie clamps down. We still have the other one to go. Like I said, for these spring clamps, what I decided I'm gonna do is have them go on the side, uh, the side here so that one dedicated side is made for all the clamps. So what I plan to do is take more two by four and chop it down to the correct length to be able to house each of these different sizes on one single piece of two by four. So we're gonna get that started right now. Now we have one done, two done, and three, and four. So we got all four of our clips in on this side. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is actually put uh, the Bessie clamp, my last set of Bessie clamps right there, uh, on the top shelf here, or on the top of this side of the workbench. And then I'm gonna figure out what to do with these last three because as you can see, we have very tiny holes to work with and I want to make sure I do this as good as I can. I don't have any dowels or anything like that. So it might take me a second to mock something up real quick, but we are gonna get it figured out. All right guys, so here's a mock up of what I'm gonna do for the last three clamps as a way to save space. I'm gonna nail gun these little mini dowels I made into that half of one by four. And that way I can just secure the one by four into the two by four. And you know, as I need to in the future, I can take this out, move it around and do whatever. So it leaves me some options for the future. And that's what we're going for because we're building for the future. So anyways, that's what we're gonna do. That's how we're gonna finish this up. All right, YouTube, and there it is. My first upgrade to my workbench is done. I have an efficient way to have all my clamps stored and they're all now stored in one area. I'm super happy with how this turned out and I look forward to what else I can do to this in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video, hit subscribe, hit your notification bell and leave a comment, any suggestions, what else can I do to make this bench better or anything I can do to improve my clamp storage. As always, don't forget to keep God number one. Thank you so much. God bless.